What up, y'all? Got another shoe video for y'all. Um, before we get started, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Um, like I said, that notification bell is very important, and being subscribed to the channel because I let y'all know when there, uh, I find out about shock drops, stuff like that. So, um, you know, I have a feeling there's going to be some shock drop or a shock drop happening within the next two or three weeks before Christmas. So definitely keep that notification bell slid over so you can get notification. Um, this video is uh, about the, if anybody knows anything about holes in the box, it's, it is an off-white shoe. And we have the Nike Air Rubber Dunk Low Off-White uh, Collab. Um, colors read uh, black, white, and green strike. This is a size 12. Um, as you can tell, um, this is a, they used to be local like 30 minutes away, but now they moved. This is a, uh, was a local shop, 96 Kicks. Dude bought it from there. And as you can tell, he paid 380, brand new. And he wore them one time and he came in and I ended up doing some trading with him. And he got something that he wanted, and I got these. Um, I did clean these up and got them looking pretty good. Uh, you barely can even tell. It looks more or less like they was tried on in a store, and then that was it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't look like they've been worn to worn. So, uh, let's jump into the review and get this started. Um, I will say they made, like, three colorways in this shoe. Um... One of them was like a yellowish gold color, one was black and green, and one was like a whitish silver and uh, uh, like university blue. Um, but anyways, uh, you got this off-white paper on the inside. It says off-white 2020 uh, M.FW, and then it just says off in this crazy design. Y twenty three hundred. Um, something I can look for if we see it in here or not. Anyways, let's open up the shoes and wow! Here's the shoe. Comes with a pair of green shoelaces. Um, here's the little tag. And from what I can tell on this one, uh, this is one of the ones that I hadn't seen it say off-white on the tag. Um, I looked online at several pictures of them and stuff, and, and the one, all the ones I looked at didn't have off-white tag or didn't say off-white on the tag. Um, and this does glow like most off-white tags do glow under a black light. I don't have my black light with me, or I'd show you guys, but um, as y'all can tell, clean shoe looks just like it does straight from the get-go um any of these little spots that's just because this is all suede see that booty backstroke motion um so it ain't got no spots on it it did have a couple little spots um but i took a brush and i uh uh restored all this suede back to the way it's supposed to be here's the bottoms as y'all can tell i'm gonna do a close-up I mean, there's barely any markings at all on this shoe after I went through and put about an hour worth of cleaning in them. You know, these, these things look flawless now. So, you know, as you can tell, uh, you might as well say it's a brand new shoe, you know. Like, other than a couple of little uh, sock fuzzies in there, other than that, you know, this it's a phenomenal shoe. And this, you know, uh, you can sell this for... Uh, near DS price, you know, or tried on price, basically. Um, but anyways, we got a uh, mainly uh, rubber and uh, like f mesh and foam shoe, the best I can explain it, and suede. Um, <clears throat> you got tons of this uh, like mesh anywhere uh, like this. Here, here, in between all this, you got mesh and all that. And then anywhere that you see this, that is uh, suede. 
and then all the rest of this stuff is pretty much well right here we got like some almost like pat leather but all this green right here and then like this midsole all this like this is all rubber um like the checks are rubber all that so you know it is what it is even these little things right here rubber um so you know it's a pretty dope shoe i, I do gotta say i i would like to have the carolina ones the university blue ones i really dig these uh or dig them a lot of people likes this shoe and it's not bad like <clears throat> if it was just a little closer to my size well I'll tell you treat these holding it up to my size 11 like these would pretty much fit me so uh, I might end up trying these on if they fit my toe right. I might end up keeping these I do got a couple people that's interested in them right now So I might end up selling them if I don't keep them, but um, yeah off-white rubber dunk Here you are the like I said these are the uh, green and uh, black ones um, As you can tell we got the Nike air on the back. We got the suede that booty backstroke suede um then you got some more of this mesh. Then you got this, like, this is kind of a, you know, I guess a cross trainer heel that we got here where it loops up like this and kind of comes together. And, you know, the, the heel, if you see my fingers, it goes in like that. And then it does this number. So it, these really, even on the sides, they go like that. So it hugs, when you tie them up, they hug your ankle good for ankle support. And, uh, you know but to be a track shoe it's kind of kind of crazy you know what i mean then on the inside here as you can tell we got the classic off-white you know info um just like all off-whites off-whites have that tag and they all have off-white printing and nike and all that stuff on the inside um we'll pull out the other shoe i did have these out on the rack so of course this one's wrapped in shrink well i shrink wrap and uh I'll go ahead and show you all the bottom of this one. As you can tell, they're they're clean. I cleaned these up real nice. No no signs of wear on the stars. So really really good condition shoe. Um, I, I like how Off White and Nike does their collabs. Like you get these cool boxes. You know I do wish that they would. You know the dunks and stuff. They do have a tend to do more of these flashy boxes and stuff like that. I, I just wish that they would do that with like, you know, don't get me wrong. We got cool boxes and stuff for like Jordan off-whites, but we ain't got chromed out boxes, you know. Like I feel like with the dunks and stuff, they tend to go a little further on giving us nice boxes. Now, the Union LA Jordans 4s, uh, I love that box. I love it. That was a dope box. Give me some more boxes like that, Nike brand. But, um, yeah, like the off-white one, it was just basically like a Jordan 5 box or something like that that had a bunch of holes in it, if I remember correct, correctly. So, uh, yeah, um, I just, uh, I, I do like, I will show you all this, uh, the inside of the, uh, which you can tell he had on that, it had the size sticker in the bottom, so whenever he wore it, it kind of wore that off and made it peel off. But the sole on these looks just like the paper inside the box. It's going to look identical to it. Let me see if these come out or if they're actually stuck in them. And I don't have fingernails right now, so this is a little bit of a pain. Nah, they're kind of, they're glued in there. So I'm not going to try to peel that out right now. Uh there's the code or there's the inside tag um but you know and like i said there's the uh off-white shoelace laces and then there's the fatty tongue you know got that cut off off-white uh you know style it's clean shoe you know what i mean like a lot of people says oh i could, you know at green's hard to rock it but you know like, not really. Like, let's say if you had on a pair of khakis or a pair of black pants or something, you had on, like, a white shirt, you know, you could definitely pull these off or have, like, a shirt, white shirt or black shirt that had this green and, like, some black pants or something, like, or even something with this blue and black. Like, it's going to look good with this. So, uh, 
you know, people say stuff's so hard to, to, you know, wear with stuff, but I could wear this simple. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, if you like the shoe, you like the shoe. You know what I mean? You're going to, you can just wear it with whatever that's close to that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, I came across this deal, and we don't get to do many dunks on here, so I just want to, you know, even though they was used, but they're like new, so I just want to give you guys a, another dunk video, and uh, just to keep the content rolling, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did get my girls, I will say Nike has been killing it on the shipping. You know, Monday, I put in an order for the uh, white and gold Jordan 1 mids for my fiance. And uh, I put the order in Monday, and they was here today, Wednesday. Like, I won't get this video uploaded till tomorrow, which will be Thursday. But, man, like, Nike was on that. Like, it, I got an a email saying Tuesday that they shipped, and then they showed up Wednesday. Like, it was crazy. Like, I did... I, I, got a phone call saying hey you got a package delivered and it's shoes from nike and i was like what like that shouldn't already be here and i looked on the app and it was already shipped so uh nike they be on that right now uh if you're not subscribed to the channel please drop a sub like comment hit that notification bell if you done made it this far you might as well comment you might as well like and you might as well do all that stuff so we can hurry up and do them giveaways um i will say uh as far as like shoes, uh, UPS, I read something online. UPS is not supposed to be accepting packages from Nike, uh, LL Bean, and several other companies for like the next week or two. So I don't know what's going on with all that. You might do some investigation on all that kind of stuff to see if you hear or you can find, you know, some more into this and see what's going on. Um, I don't know what they got going on. I don't know if it's where it's almost Christmas time and and UPS is trying to focus on people's personal packages instead of businesses packages when they need to realize that really a lot of people's gonna be ordering Nike from Nike for people's Christmas. You know, there's gonna be a lot of ticked off people if they can't get their shoes for their kids or their loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know I'd have been heated if if I would have ordered those mids like two weeks before Christmas and you know UPS is not wanting to pick them up and Nike's trying to find some way to ship them I'd been heated you know um but anyways uh that's gonna about end this video off like I said I got two more shoes coming for sure um well we're gonna say one's on the way for sure uh I got the uh I can go ahead and give y'all a quick glance I put in the bid for these, the Bayou Boys, uh, Jordan 1, and, uh, and I'm, I'm going to say this is low-key fire. This shoe is heat. Like, it's, it's not going for a whole lot right now, so if you get a chance to get a pair, I suggest you get a pair. If you can get a pair for, like, $225, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Like, uh... Mm -hmm. I've seen them go for a little bit lower, but I will say that that shoe will be a good investment because I could see that shoe hitting like 300 like on the for real. Um, but also being on a pair of mochas, and I paid up there for them, and it's been like a week, and the shipper still hasn't shipped them to StockX, so I'm in the process of emailing StockX and asking them what's going on because if that dude doesn't ship by tomorrow, I'd like to go ahead and buy them from somebody else on StockX and that will hurry up and ship them out because I'm not going to wait a week, another week or something if this dude just doesn't decide to ship at the last minute and then, you know, have to deal with this crap of trying to get, you know, whatever. Like, just give me credit. Let me get them through somebody else and rock on with it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, like I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, hit that notification bell. Like I said, we are going to be doing some giveaways, you guys. Uh, like I said, I, I hope we hit 600 by, by Christmas or before Christmas because I would love to do a giveaway right at Christmas. Uh, that'd be really dope. And I'd like to try to, you know, just do 
be able to hit the 600 before the first of the year and be able to do a giveaway by the first of the year. You know, that I'd like to be able to ship it out before Christmas so that somebody received it by Christmas so it'd be like a little Christmas gift thing for them. So, and hopefully it would be somebody who might not really get much for Christmas and it might be, you know, something really cool that might be the coolest thing they got for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But uh, like I said, comment below. Let me know. Would y'all cop? Or wait a minute. I forgot. We don't. I keep saying the cop drop thing but uh no it's drip flip or skip would y'all rock these if you would rock them comment drip if you would just resell them put flip and uh what was the other one and if you wouldn't rock them at all just uh put the other one i, I don't forgot what i said uh Skip. Yeah, there we go. Skip. Uh, anyways, y'all, I'm tired. I worked all day. Went to church. It's about an hour and a half, two hours past time that you're after time of me getting out of church. And I drove up here just to do this video for you guys. So uh, I just wanted to make sure I had this video so I could upload it tomorrow for y'all. It's already my bedtime, and I still got a 30-minute drive to make it back home. So hope you enjoyed the video. Much love and peace out.